outstanding competitor going against Gracie, whose expertise is in the noted Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. First off, let's take a closer look at Ben Spikers. Gracie. This is Henzo Gracie, a master of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, doing what he does best, giving a student a friendly lesson in his family's sophisticated style. The good thing about the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is that you can train hard as, as you are fighting without getting hurt. And this is Henzo, also doing what he does best, teaching a challenger that to insult the Gracie reputation is to risk its fearful wrath. You can do the no rules and you can do the sport one. You can train the sport as much as you can and then if you want you can do the no rules and go there and fight the no rules. Henzo Gracie is a study in contrasts. He's a physically unimposing man, yet this is one of the deadliest fighters on earth. When it comes to real combat, Henzo Gracie has little time for those who cannot see the truth. I had a couple fans that used to do karate and are very good kickers and punchers and get someone stronger than, than them in the street and this guy be them easy. And how come a lot, of a lot of years of training is because the strong guy grabs him, put him down, and he didn't know what to do. And like the style he practices, he can be brutally direct. The teacher who doesn't know grappling in the future is going to be out of business. Contrary to some opinions, Henzo believes that events like the WCC are important to the advancement of the martial arts. And the WCC, because people start to see the realistic fight, not something they don't normally see in a movie or in a presentation, or in a fake situation. There's nothing fake about Enzo Gracie, and anyone doubting that claim is welcome to step right up and find out firsthand just how real he can be. interesting that amongst the fighters a lot of people didn't know who some of the other fighters were but to a man every single fighter knew who Henzo Gracie is. The reputation of the Gracie family and his cousins Hoyth and Hickson in their world championship bouts have preceded them. There is a mystique that surrounds the Gracie family and Bob Wall I have to ask you the question how much is reputation affecting Ben Spikers? Well, I tell you, reputation always helps if you've got the talent to back it up, which clearly Henzo does. But I don't think Vince Spikers has intimidated one iota. He's a great judo player, and he wants this match. He wanted Henzo in the first round. He wanted him. He wanted to make sure he got, he got to fight him. Tail of the tape does not re reveal anything of significance as you look at the height, weight, and age. Possibly Gracie, with six years in youth, could take advantage, but I doubt it. It's clear that Spikers is in great condition. Now let's go up to our ring announcer for the introductions, John Higginson. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Lawrence Joe Veteran Memorial Coliseum in Winston-Salem, North Carolina for the first ever The World Combat Championship! I'm John Higginson and I'll be your ring announcer for tonight's event. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to bring on the Warriors! Your judges tonight, J. Pat Burleson, Kathy Long, Clay McBride, our ringside physician, Don Blackley, Dr. Joseph Esquanik, Dr. Evan Ekman, and the referee for tonight's World Combat Championship, Cecil Peoples! for our first fight in the grapplers division fighting out of the red corner wearing white pants is 34 year old judo practitioner stands five foot nine and weighed in at 190 pounds he has held national titles in the netherlands england germany and russia please welcome the 1990 through 95 international open class judo champion the pride of holland ben spikers His opponent across the ring fighting out of the gold corner has a name that is synonymous with no holds barred competition. He is 28 years old, stands 5 foot 11, and weighed in at 180 pounds. 
He is undefeated, and his family has a winning streak spanning 65 years. Introducing the 1993 and 94 Brazilian Open Division Jiu-Jitsu Champion, Henzo Gracie! I want to remind you, you got 10 minutes on the mat. 10 minutes on the mat, 22 minutes. Watch the eyes, no biting. Are you ready, sir? Back to your corner, please. Are you ready, sir? Back to the corner. You saw the faces of the two competitors. Those of you that are fight fans, remember that great Sonny Liston stare in the early 60s. Let's do it. Both Spikers and Gracie had that working. Bob, one thing that stands out here, both both of them as a result of being in judo in jiu-jitsu. You see one with the gi and one with not without. Is that an advantage or disadvantage for Spikers? Well, Ben Spikers is very comfortable with the gi, and I think it's a strategic disadvantage for him. I know he's comfortable with it, but I think it'll prove uh, to not be an advantage for Ben Spikers, but an advantage for Henzo Gracie. And of course, the takedown by the great judo player, Ben Spikers, who's in the control position right now. One of the things that's been talked about with regards to the jiu-jitsu is that he is a takedown expert. But the Gracies operate very well on their back. In fact, we've seen competitions where the Gracies have been victorious from their backside. Absolutely. And you see Henzo right now in the defensive guard position, which he's very, very comfortable in. Now he's just gotten out of the takedown. He's knee Ben Spikers, and he's working him into the ring. I don't think there's any doubt, Tom, that Spikers was surprised by that. I didn't think he anticipated that Gracie would go to the groin. And, that, that, and that's a classic Gracie move there with the leg strength and everything like that, being able to recover from the from the mat as he did and, and, and recover well as he did. And Gracie just hit it with a headbutt. He's already starting a attrition fight. Bob, I wanted it's to point out the fact that the Gracies are notorious, at least Hoist has been, for what many people feel as passive fighting, laid back a little bit, not as aggressive clearly here. In this case, Henzo is going after it. Yes, and each one of these great jiu-jitsu grapplers, they have their own style. Henzo's is an aggressive style, and you're seeing it now. He doesn't wait for people to bring the fight to him. He takes it to them. Well, as a result of the fact that both are grapplers, they have plenty of time to remain on the mat, over nine minutes. And basically, because this is the expertise of both, Tom, this is where the fight is going to be won or lost. Absolutely. And I was just about to point out to Bob that, that Henzo is the kind of guy, in particular, Bob, who can stay on the mat a long time. I mean, he'll stay out here all night if he has to. No question about it. Of course, the rules tonight, he's working against the clock because he's only got 10 minutes. So Henzo has to make the fight. He's headbutting. He's putting a lot of weight on Ben Spike. And Ben Spikers is in the defensive position trying to keep that pressure off of him. You see the time on the floor, not consequential at this point, 8.45 and running. But I have to say here too, gentlemen, that it's clear that Spikers is not foreign to being on his back either. Sure. Now you saw Hinzo use his knee to gain that advantage, and now he's got the back, and that's a big mistake. Spikers, Spikers was not used to that. He took some shots to the back of the neck, face first. I, I was just going to say, Todd, we hadn't there seen too many he blows. Out. He there tapped is. out. Wow. He tapped out. It's all over. Hendo. He had to pull him off. Oh, hey, hey. And he stepped hey. out. That was pushing him. He didn't need to do that at the end step on the back of the neck. Henzo Gracie clearly had defeated him, and now he tries to be the sportsman. I don't know if that's the sort of thing that they're going to appreciate here. Nonetheless, you have to give credit to Henzo Gracie. He did what he said he was going to do. Well, the crowd doesn't like it, and of course, it's unfortunate. Uh, you know, in the heat of the battle, Henzo's an aggressive type fighter, and I'm sure he regrets it now. Uh, and he's apologizing. Well, certainly nothing that we want to see or the crowd wants to see. And you can see the counseling from the official. The counseling, the counseling from Cecil Peoples, he says, you are too good a fighter to do that. Cut that out, but clearly, Henzo Gracie is somebody that wants to establish his own reputation, not based on what his cousins have done. Bobby, did that surprise you? Uh, that, that seemed good. Take a look at Ben Spikers early, Tom. See, this is... He looked pretty good here, but you know, as soon as he, Henzo got on his back, I thought to myself, that's sort of a classic position he wants to be in. I mean, he fights from strength from that position. Henzo was very clever. If you notice, he, he, he rode up. Well, Bob, we get a chance here to take a look at the reversal by Gracie. He didn't stand his back for long. No, you notice he used his legs. The leg is what was the secret to turning over spikers. And now, 
He's taking control. He's trying to take him back to the ground and using his weight against him. He's got a hold of his leg, and you can see that Hinzo is beginning his war of using up the energy of Ben Spikers. Now Hinzo takes him down. Well, he takes him down here, but clearly at this point, some of the earlier pain had taken its toll on Spikers. And right there, after a couple of hits to the back of the net, there's the right hand, and he pounced the mat in submission. Henzo Gracie, the winner, in two minutes and 48 seconds. And you see Henzo Gracie used the gi, and he choked him out from the back. That's a mistake that you never give your back to another grappler. We don't get a chance to see it, or maybe we do right at the end, right, right there. There's yeah. the left foot right on the back of the neck. That's completely uncalled for. Completely uncalled for. Victory is enough. Now, let's throw it to John Higginson with the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the first fight in the grapplers division with a time of 2 minutes and 48 seconds, seconds won by submission, Henzo Gracie! Henzo Gracie with a decision, you can see there, kind of a token hug. Spiker's not very happy with himself, but clearly...